Hey YouTube, Big Squirrel 58 here. And guess what day this is? Guess what day this is? No, it's not hump day. Listen, if you watch any of my earlier videos, you know that I'm a fan of Smith & Wesson revolvers and I've done show and tells on my collection of Model 686s as well as 629s and my Model 66s, all earlier uh, models. And on that uh, video uh, for my Model 66s, uh, I only had four uh, revolvers. I had a no dash and a dash two, three, and four. I did not have a Model 66-1. Well, guess what day this is? Oh yeah, this is the day that I finally, patiently, and persistently acquired my Model 66-1. And I just got back from the FFL with it. <clears throat> Haven't done anything to it except the initial inspection at the FFL. And uh, you and I are going to look at this gun really for the very first time together. <clears throat> and in my other videos, I also stated that I never look for that pristine gun. I've always looked for that gun that's mechanically sound and uh, that has a little bit of handling wear on it and I can get at a decent price knowing full well that uh, I can recondition it to the state that I like them in. Well, this one is almost in a state where I really don't want to touch it. And I got it at a very budget friendly price. I'm telling you, patience and persistence just pays off. So let's just take a look at it <clears throat> together and see what it looks like. Some of the things that I always look for on these guns is you notice the rear sight leaf looks good, it's in good shape. All black fully adjustable. Uh, front sight looks good. Uh, there's no deformities. Doesn't look like this gun was dropped on the on the nose at all. Oh gosh, the barrel crown looks really good. There's not a whole lot of uh, handling marks on the gun. Uh, very few, just some minor, minor wear, just a few scratches, uh, a little dirty up on the, uh, top of the barrel in the, uh, <clears throat> in the serrations, but nothing a good cleaning won't, won't fix. Uh, right side of the gun, everything looks good. And a lot of times you can tell how much a gun may have been handled or fired by looking at on these stainless guns as well as the blue ones by looking at the turn ring on the gun and you can see this one's extremely light so you can get it out of the glare. Let's get the glare off of it and see if that'll do better. So it doesn't really have a, a significant turn ring on it. So the gun really hadn't been handled all that much uh, or fired. And as you can see, it's a 66-1. Uh, doesn't have any significant scratches or gouges or any kind of significant you know, you know, abnormalities with the gun. It looks in pretty good shape. Just a little dirty and not really all that much. Oh boy, let's see. The cylinders look good. Not a whole lot of damage or wear. The, uh, I looked at the barrel rifling. I don't know if I can get that on camera here, but the, the rifling looks good. And uh, these are just some of the things I look for. Uh, extractor rods, good, not, not bent. Now this one, <clears throat> this gun has a really nice uh, semi-target or combat hammer. Uh, firing pins in excellent shape. Uh, has a standard uh, serrated 
a trigger on it. And I tell you, and I don't know, I can't say because, you know, this gun's probably maybe 40, 40 years old, but it doesn't appear that the side plate has ever been taken off. Uh, all of the screws look in pretty good shape and not uh, buggered up. This is a pin barrel recessed cylinder model, a dash one. Let's see. All in all, the gun looks to be in, re in really good shape. Nice pair of target stocks. Uh, look almost new, undamaged. And where you typically see a bunch of dents and dings around the bottom of the um, stocks, usually from handling and carrying or holster, uh, from holstering, uh, don't see any of that. Just a one little minor one there, and that probably left the factory that way. Uh, it's just got its typical Smith & Wesson uh, sanding lines on it. Probably a factory installed set. Just all in all, just guns in really great shape. Very pleased with it. I am very pleased with it. And as I state, <clears throat> I looked patiently and I got that gun, which I'm not going to go into any real details about the pricing. But I'll say I got that gun for well below current market value. And, uh, <clears throat> get some of this out of the way and it even came in this uh, display case it's in need of some more hardware and um, and hinges I'll pick one of those up from a hobby shop and I may put a nice refinish on the case I don't know if I'll keep it or not I don't really care that much for them but I'll probably refinish it and replace all of the hardware Put in a nice, uh, put in some nice uh, felt and with a velour liner, and I'll sell this to offset the cost of the gun. So <clears throat> when this case is uh, refinished and sold, I'll have less than six hundred dollars in that gun. So this is a uh, this is another example of uh, what I mean by say patience and persistence pays off and it paid off again uh, at least to me in a very big way I don't know how to certifiably rate a gun but I was considered this one based on my experiences is uh, as probably a 85 to 90 percent gun and just with a little cleaning up it could probably easily be <clears throat> easily become a 90 to 95 percent revolver. Uh, the forcing cone's good; it's not cracked, and that's something you definitely have to look for on these older Model 66s. The uh, ratchet looks good on the extractor, and the timing. I checked the timing. The timing on all of the cylinders. Is perfect and uh, typical uh, lockup, and then in single action lockup, it's just tight, no no movement hardly at all. It's got a wonderful trigger, like all these uh, early model 66s. The trigger is just super smooth, and uh, single action is extremely crisp and light. I, I really don't see anything with this revolver that I would that I'm concerned about uh, I'll clean it up real good and uh, <clears throat> I'll see you guys back on video when I'm ready to uh, to uh, polish it which I'll take it up to the same finish that I have I believe on some of my other guns but maybe when I get it cleaned up I may not I may not touch this one at all I may leave this one exactly like it is haven't decided yet.
But anyway, as I said, patience and persistence pays off again. So guess what day it is? It's model 66-1 day. Anyway, that's all I got. Till the next time, Pixel 58, signing off.